Hey, so today I'm going to talk about two of my favorite things and combine them, astrology and fashion. So if you're like me and you love fashion, but you always seem to spend a lot of money and then you're not happy with what you get, I discovered something that's really cool. So I'm going to share it with you. When you get into astrology, they're going to tell you what colors to wear for which sign. But then of course you have your whole chart, not just your sun placement. So what do you wear, right? To look your best. I was told by my sister about this program called Dressing Your Truth. Look it up online, watch the videos after you see this video, and it's pretty awesome. The premise of it is that there's four different types of fashion for four different looks. And this is for men and women. Based on your facial features, your hands, and your movement is what you determine your type is. And when I watched this, I thought, wow, this is really cool. I don't know if the woman that put this together knows, but her four types are the four elements, of course. They're a little backwards and a little reversed. Type one in Dressing Your Truth is air. Type two in Dressing Your Truth is water. Type three is fire and type four is earth. This program doesn't just go through what colors to wear, but it's what actual exact colors to wear. For example, every type wears blue, but it's different shades of blue. That's the really cool thing because I used to put something on and I think, oh, that looks terrible on me. But then I would judge myself and my own critique and I'd say, well, maybe I'm just not used to it. Maybe I should just wear this because other people wear it and they look great and maybe I'm just critical. And of course I discover, no, I don't look great in it and I never will look great in it and that's totally okay. So a while ago I did a video about what each sign looks like. With Dressing Your Truth, what you're going to probably find is that your main type is going to be either your sun sign, your moon sign, your north node, possibly your rising, and it could also have something to do with your 8th and 12th house in your chart because those are the parts of yourself that are hidden from you. Especially if you wear a lot of things that don't look good on you and you think you're a type that you're not, then it's that 8th and 12th house to look at. For me, I'm going to give something away here, my sun sign ended up being my main type. My sun sign is a fire, I am type 3. But my secondary is a 2 in Dressing Your Truth, which is water, and most of my chart is made up of water. So I found that to be pretty interesting. But my sister, her main type ended up being her moon sign. So I've tried this program for probably about half of a year now, and there's several things I love about it. Number one, I have a very small closet. And I always had this feeling like I didn't have enough storage, plus I would have nothing to wear because I would have pieces that never really went with each other, so I didn't really have full outfits. Um, I had too much variety and it's just so much stuff that it's like feeling bombarded when you're trying to figure out what to wear. Also, I would find things that look really great on the hanger or on someone else and then I would get it online or whatever and then I'd try it on and it looked awful on me <laughs> or it just didn't feel right. Like the energy was wrong. Like I would wear something for a day and just feel off, like blah. Like my energy is just sucked out of me. Of course, the big huge problem is that I'm spending so much money. Every year I'm buying lots of clothes and I'm never really happy. Since I switched, I have bought fewer things and I've been happier. So that's been awesome. <laughs> and I go into my closet and everything matches with everything else. So I could like wear this pair of pants with this shirt and then just switch it up and everything just seems to go together, which I love. So here's some basics before you watch her videos about how this works. Colors are split up in tints, shades, tones, and pure pigment. In her program, tints go with type one which is air. Tents have pure color with white added in them. Bright, open, they're kind of like happy colors. So if you're an air sign, you wear something that's like air, just it has like levity to it. It's perky. <laughs> type two goes with tone. Type two is water. Tone has gray added into it. It's got that kind of etherealness where everything is just like a little silvery. A type three, goes with shades and shades have black added in. So as you can see, I have a blue and I have a red, but these are like darker, so they have the black added in. Then type four goes with pure pigment, which is just the pure color and that's earth. And of course, earth signs are very like black and white, kind of rigid, set, not constantly changing or shifting. So it's that pure color. The most controversial thing about dressing your truth is that only one type is allowed to wear black. 
I know this was huge. Like when I first thought about that, I thought, is there any way that I could just stop wearing black? I mean, that's a huge thing to get used to. But then I learned that in the history of women's fashion, it's only been recently that we've been wearing black. Before 1930s with Coco Chanel, black was reserved for mourning. And I do feel that when I wear black, I'm hidden. So it's great if you want to hide, but I felt like I couldn't really be seen for me. I was like hidden underneath something. So if you are anything other than a type four, wearing black can just be a downer for you. It can be sucking your energy without even knowing it. In addition to color, which is the main thing of this program, there's also shapes. And I really thought it was cool that the shapes that she talks about are the shapes that I have noticed in facial features. So for instance, a type one, which is air, it's all about circles. And I have always noticed that people that have a lot of air in their chart, or that's their dominant feel, they have very circular eyes, they've got a very circular face, circular nose, and there's a sparkle to them. Type two, which is water, the symbol is a wave, which is obvious, that is water. Water is flowing, it's constantly moving. So the shapes and everything are like these kind of curves, like a wave. Type three is a triangle or a diamond, which is a very primitive shape, it's very animalistic, and it looks like movement, it looks like fire, Type four is parallel lines or squares, rectangles, and that's earth because everything for earth is just very stable. It's a foundation, it's immovable. I found myself trying to wear type four stuff a lot, which probably has to do with my south node. I felt like I should wear it because high fashion is mostly type four and type one. So all the magazines are pushing you to wear type four, but it just never felt like I was energized by wearing these things. This program also answers the age old question, am I a silver gal or a gold gal? And so two of the types, I won't tell you which ones, but two of the types are gold and two are silver. I have found for me that I only like to wear one color of jewelry, but my husband, for instance, he wears clothes from not just his main type or element, but also his secondary type or element. So with gold and silver, he often wears both and in this program, they really encourage you to stick with one of the types. And to begin with, it's a lot easier to do that. But I've noticed as you kind of get into it, you'll notice that there's things from your secondary energy that you'll put into your wardrobe that make you feel more like you. Like for me, type three has a lot of structure, which I kind of like, like this jean jacket has structure. Um, it's like menswear, but I don't like everything tailored. I like something like one piece of clothing to be flowy because I have type two or water as my secondary. This program also gets into hairstyles, makeup, getting everything to match up so that when you walk into a room, you have a full complete package. It also talks about embracing your energies, which we talk about in every video as the real you, trying to decipher between what was taught to you by your family versus what you naturally truly are. That part is pretty cool too. I mean, I think the astrology chart is way more in depth. Her energy typing personality is just very basic. But as far as fashion goes, this is the most accurate that I have seen. And I love how my closet is now. I love that picking what to wear is just fast and easy and that I have so many choices. If you're thinking like, oh, but I have this whole wardrobe that doesn't match my type and my energy, what do I do? Well, for me, I went overboard. <laughs> I actually re-dyed my clothes and I re-dyed my leather. So I actually took leather boots and dyed them other colors, which is pretty fun. And then on Poshmark or on eBay, you can sell the clothes that you don't look good in and aren't happy with, and you can buy new stuff. But it's not gonna cost you as much because it's a resell. So that's a way to save money there. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. It's called Dressing Your Truth.